Um, what we're going to want to do in, in this example, guys, to convert this to a polar equation is basically, if you guys look at your equations, remember I said you need to know x equals r cosine of theta, y equals r sine of theta? It's not going to be up there. It's not on your formula sheet. So if I want to put this in polar form, I want everything to be in terms of r and theta. No more x and y's, just r's and thetas. So I'm going to replace x with r cosine of theta and y with um, r sine of theta. Now, typically, like kind of like in a, um, in a uh, rectangular equation, we like to solve for r. So we're going to factor out an r. And then we're going to say r is equal to 7 all over 3 cosine of theta plus, oops, yeah, sine of theta. And there you go.